Hi, I'm Riley Sager. My latest novel, Middle of the Night, takes place during two Julys, 30 years apart. The setting is a quiet suburban neighborhood where nothing bad ever happens, until one night it does. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at five similar novels about the summertime and the darkness lurking just beneath all that sunshine. First up, we have The Winner by Teddy Wayne. This one just came out, and it is about a law student who gets more than he bargains for when he becomes a tennis instructor at a wealthy enclave near Cape Cod. There's sex, violence, more sex, rich people behaving badly, more sex, and the book takes a really interesting dark turn that I personally loved, but I know a lot of people will have very strong opinions about. This is great for a book club. Next up, classic, Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Um, this was kind of the book I was thinking about when I wrote Middle of the Night. Both are about boyhood and how it's scary to be a kid and having a big imagination as a child and being scared of things but excited by things. And Dandelion Wine is about a perfect summer in 1928 in a small town in the Midwest. And so it's filled with nostalgia and quaintness. And there also happens to be a serial killer called the Lonely One who is targeting young women. So there's a lot of, a lot of moods in this book. Um, if you haven't read it yet, and maybe plenty of you have when you were teenagers, um, give it another try. It's very good. One of my favorites, Megan Miranda. Um, she's great. I love her books. I love her as a human being. And her latest, Daughter of Mine, might be my favorite by her. It's so good. It's about a woman named Hazel whose police detective father recently died. And so she goes back to a town called Mirror Lake where she grew up. And just, you know, she inherited her father's house and her brothers aren't too happy about this. So there's family tension. And then during a drought, the lake level is getting lower, 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 and they discover a car buried under the water and inside the trunk are secrets into Hazel's past. It's, I thought it was a great book. Um, I highly, highly recommend this one. Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. Um, don't read this one at your vacation house. Read it at home. Maybe, I mean, it's about a family who rents a house on Long Island for a vacation. And then one night, um, two people claiming to be the owners of the house show up. With even more distressing news, um, the world might be ending. So um, this is kind of a apocalypse scene from a distance during a vacation book. Um, it's riveting, it's intense, it's scary. Um, but again, maybe save this one not for the beach house. And finally, I can't talk about um, dark things lurking under the surface without talking about Jaws. Yep. Yeah. Jaws, you know it, I know it. I don't need to describe the plot for you, um, but the book is turning 50 years old this year, which is, which is crazy. And I have a certain connection with Jaws because I live in Princeton, New Jersey, and Peter Benchley was living in Princeton, New Jersey when he wrote Jaws. So it always has a special place in my heart. Um, if you haven't read it yet, you'll be surprised at how it differs from the movie. So that is it. Um, five books about darkness lurking just beneath the surface. Um, and I hope you have a great summer with lots of great reading. And um, yeah, pick up Middle of the Night. It's a good one.